Shake a boom, shake a bam. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta move forward. <laughs> Don't know how this ankle's gonna look though. Um Fuck you. I'm just gonna check it. Because I want it to look okay. It it doesn't look that yeah, it's okay. Um Still gonna look down at you. Hey, welcome to Random is Funny uh, pilot episode. Um, ideas are funny. They sure are. They're also uh, frightening, like spooky, uh, strange, different sometimes. Maybe boring. Maybe it, they cause you a bunch of things. Like I, I don't, well, I'm sorry, my forehead is big and stuff. Um, hey, let me talk to you like a human being. Like, like the first five minutes are gonna be a little strange because the, the this is a this is the moment I exist. This interpretation of myself, the the social person who talks to nothing, like. A, you have to realize you gotta be a little strange in some ways, like, just a little. So like, just talk, like, for decide to talk for a room um, for thirty two minutes, and and you become more like, uh, oh fuck, uh, you become more like uh, susceptible to it. I, I don't know the word. You become uh, it becomes more normalized to you at some point. It's just like you you know how to talk to the camera. You know how people think it's normal to talk to the camera. But every time you like, like at least for me, when I start after a long break, I, I become, I'm a little like, uh, our relationship is not what it was. It's it's a little awkward in the start. That's why it's a pilot. You don't have to see this in the future, maybe. I don't know. Um, so uh, what did I want to talk about? The original plan was actually to have a guest, a guy I really found interesting. Uh, a homosexual individual uh, I would talk about uh, sexual orientation with I found him really interesting and I really wanted his output in it because I think uh, in some ways I um, in a lot of ways I'm uneducated in it uh, like especially for uh, the perspective uh, so I wanted to know like how does my ideas bounce off like his idea interpretation I wouldn't like to have a talk, not that, that I think we would disagree, I just think uh, I have some thoughts, I need a human to like bounce off of and like see if I should believe uh, believe in this because most of my thoughts are based on human human happiness, so if my ideas doesn't make like the individual I think it benefits like more happy, like I'm, I'm gonna drop it, that, that we all have ideas for like I think we have ideas for others' happiness, and it's not always like it's not always it's gonna hit, and sometimes it's it's something we also want because it makes us happy, and then we become. I don't know. I just want to like see how uh, my ideas could bounce off, uh, but but it's it's a hard discussion, and I didn't do uh, because at some point you stop believing in your ideas. Sometimes. Um, so I didn't like I I didn't do enough research and I didn't ask him. That's the sad part. That's ideas. That's like uh, uh, they kind of exist. They kind of don't. You you have to like put them out there. It's still an idea, but yeah. If I didn't say it now, it would literally never had existed. So now I'm kind of making an idea into reality. I don't know. Um, maybe I will do it later. He's I can write him. <laughs> Big people on here. Um, but it's what I want to talk about. Like uh, you get ideas, kind of strange, and they're fighting. They're different. They uh, need you to be social or something. They need you to, to do something different. You can also get small ideas, but like, like ideas, ideas. You want to do something you haven't done before, kind of. I think this is a. Is, uh, I don't think most people want to uh, uh, talk about. Sexual orientation. It's just now that I'm realizing, like, uh, people probably gonna hear me outside. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and feel like, what the fuck? Elvis hasn't talked to anybody in two weeks, so now he's talking to himself. 
And it's kind of, that's, that's pretty much the fact. Um, so now, I, now I'm just going to type, talk to you about ideas and the ideas of ideas and like, because I think it's important to some, to some extent that you actually share your ideas before they become like reality. Because if you don't, they're just not, they, they, it's not certain they ever will. So even an idea, I think an idea, uh, even without a, like, a, and I think, well, I, I think it's obvious, but maybe some don't. I think um, idea that hasn't been achieved or haven't been like executed has still a lot of value. It can still be interesting. It can still be art. It can still be funny. Uh, it, it can add a lot of value. Um, so that's the guy I wanted to talk about it with. Yes, what amazing! He he could have been in here. Hey man, um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking down here. I'm also sorry. Oh, me, I'm sorry if this isn't visual for you. But the reason I have porn everywhere on my walls, I would call porn furry porn, uh, was uh was like I wanted to like ask it it, it was for, for all the like uh, the the start of the project like I wanted to start if it's uh, for ball to him or if he was disgusted or if he felt lesser uh, because of like what I find hot what like uh, I watched and get soft to and find interesting sexually uh, and a lot of it is strange fetishes and anime animals. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just say I'm sorry. I'm really sad because like uh, there's this that whole discussion of sexuality or what you like find attractive is like something you choose or uh, and I it seems like it's not uh, so. Like I just wanted to see like like explanation like what do you want to, uh, what do you do then is this like a horrible thing and should I change and how do I change or uh, I don't really hurt anybody with shaking off to drawings I don't think so so just let it be and it's uh, and people shouldn't be like disgusted by me because it's it's one of the two should people be disgusted by me and should I change or uh, and. Uh, is it me that should change, or is it them? That's pretty much the discussion. Because I think a lot of people is revolted by this stuff. Uh, and I'm kind of on both sides in some ways. Um, I don't know. I have been called sick in the head, but I just can't take it serious in some ways. Like, it's, it's a big part of me, and it's not. It's something I can put away. But if someone uh, like finds out about it, it's always in their head. So it's always, um, they, they have an idea of me, ooh, ooh, we can have ideas of each other, so, ooh, and hate us because of that ideas, come to conclusions about each other. We all do that, I think. I do that. But I think I let it go at some point, because some, some, at some point I just don't care about, like, a person who I don't really interact with. Um, and don't really interact with me. Sure, buddy. <laughs> I actually, I'm sorry, I'm new to this. You're gonna, you're gonna have to have patience with me, but I'm gonna check if I'm actually recording. Oh, I am. I'm so happy. I'm sorry for the strange uh, angle. Uh, I'm just trying to be different and artistic. And I don't think it works, but I kind of do, like, uh, in some ways you can be, like, when you are really disappointed at yourself, like, really, like, when in the future you're really disappointed at uh, your old videos, it means you have changed or developed or something. It's like, every time I get, it's like, embarrassed about something I, I did, made a, uh, Bob the Builder rap, um, then you're just gonna be like, oh, yes, I evolved. I use my time on things I am more proud of now. 
like putting a lot of hours into <laughs> Breath of the Wild <laughs> and other games. I am more productive now. I actually don't think that's a joke. I think it's a good thing to give yourself free time uh, and use time on things you like. If you and and not just making yourself uh, the most productive person ever. I think we should have be proud of taking it easy and giving yourself some time. And I know you can say no, but not too much time. I I think that's up to yourself to decide. I don't want to be that kind of guy that sh you you should just work your life away, even though that's kind of what I sometimes think I should just work. But but I think it's good to like take some breaks and not everything you make is gonna be art, and maybe everything you're gonna do is gonna be art. Maybe that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. Um. At least find meaning if in 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 meaningless things. That's that's really important, I think. Well, I should really not have started with uh, that whole uh, thing about the wall and stuff. I'm gonna have scared so many people over. I'm sure. Holy shit! That's that's the pilot. Oh no! <laughs> and the worst part is now the people. No, nah, I'm not gonna. Okay, joke. Uh, other people that are left, they would watch anything we were gonna do. Like, this is not the. Uh, okay, back to philosophical ideas about. Um, ideas. <laughs> um, and I hope, I hope really, like, if you join this podcast, I hope it's me talking. I don't have a script. I, uh, I'm not always looking at the camera, at least now. Uh, I'm observant and uh, shy, uh, and I hope you can uh, give it just a little time. Like it, it's it's gonna be a lot of white noise. It's gonna be a lot of me just saying stuff that not doesn't really like it. That not necessarily is gonna hit you or gonna mean anything to you. A lot of it's gonna be like white noise, and at some point maybe you will care not enough about the idea of me like the the idea of the individual Elias always that you're gonna find these small facts and me just talking and uh, telling stuff about myself like that you, you're gonna interpret some kind of in the personality or some kind of person and then this information is gonna matter a lot um, but a lot of it will just be white noise it's, it it will be me uh, I don't know if I can call it attempting to develop some kind of personality for this podcast. I don't know if that is what this is, but uh, I'm gonna be talking about like my stuff, like the the things I wanna, the things I talk to a camera about. That's that's what you're gonna hear. Well, I should call it uh, my conversation with a camera. I think random is funny is is better. That's a name I. I thought about, but but uh, me talking to a camera. That, that, that's cute. Oh, I'm so afraid of people. Uh, literally, I really don't know how you start an interesting podcast. It must be so hard for people if you it, it isn't already established. Like people gonna join this podcast if I get established, but like before, you have to have a hook. Literally, you have to have something very sp a niche, like something people wanna see. Like all the podcasts I hear, like it's it's just because I know them. <laughs> How do you even? Ah, oh, like it's so strange. It, uh, like how we find the 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 content we watched. It's like how did we get into it? Where was the hook? I'd be loving because nowadays it, uh, I only watch stuff if it has a really great hook. But a lot of the stuff I watch, like uh, I have watched for years, never had a good hook. But I just started watching it and kept watching it, even though it was never really. Uh, this is amazing. Now I just have some idea of, oh, this is pretty amazing. Should I give you an example? I'm not sure. Shiva is really 
I mean, see now again, I, I'm scaring so many people away. I'm such a <laughs> but Shiro has a pretty tame beginning, but a really amazing end. But it really, I kept, I got through it all, even though it didn't hook me in the beginning. I still kept watching. So that's interesting. Okay, maybe that was a hook. Like the character designs were pretty cool. Okay, that maybe that is a hook. What's my hook? Uh, I have a pretty uh, nice suit. Uh, I have a bunch of. Uh, Cool drawings on the wall. I would say I have only taken really great art. I, I have covered up the the, 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 the the sex parts, if you can call them that. That's a strange thing. I think I'm calling it. But yeah. Um, pretty cool. Uh, but don't have a hook, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's funny because, like, I'm also making this to like uh, encourage people to watch the stuff I really like uh, put all my energy into. Like uh, the project I'm working on now is called Before Stardust, uh, which is a sci-fi kind of thing. Uh, future? Nah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I like that's what I. It's going really slow, but that's what I'm putting my energy into. Uh, so, like, I just want something to, like, uh, point towards it, and this is, this is it. Because I know podcasts are more popular than stories, I think, in some ways. I have a better chance for reaching out now. I don't think I have gotten my head. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, 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 you can have the board start to a podcast. Like the interesting thing is pretty much like yeah, you, the interesting thing, pretty much. You know, the interesting thing about me is pretty much uh, I don't have an idea of what if I'm. Yeah, I have an idea. Whoa, we get back to the interesting things about me uh, is every time I say idea, I get a little mind blower and begin laughing because that's the that's the subject. I never talk about it. It just comes up a few times. <laughs> like how how do you even? Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, let's let me ask a question because I I have to answer it myself. Uh, I have to think about it. I need to do this. I'm sorry. Um, how do you even like uh, present a, a philosophical, a lot, a lot of philosophical question like this, like what is an idea, what gives it value, um, oh no, I lost myself, is meaning a social construct, yes, in some ways, uh, it is human created, we think it is, prove me wrong, I, I would love to, um, I would love to hear that, um, oh come on, okay, so what is, is an idea? Uh, to me, and I don't want to look for Wikipedia, not, not really. a definition, uh, an idea is like a, a, a thought process where you get like a, an action or project, like you you get a thought that uh, causes you to want to make a change through an object or like an action, that's my idea of it, so an idea is um, you doing something or you making something, and uh, you making something is you doing something. But uh, an idea is it's just an action, pretty much. But I think it's more concrete. I think it's uh, uh, it's more like a, a, a action with a meaning, and uh, yeah, an action that you think have a meaning and uh, is is more specific than an action. That's so what is a good idea? Uh, I don't think there's good ideas or bad ideas. I think we put bad ideas in the box where it's uh, not original, uh, it's, it, it causes danger, it's hateful. Um, it's hateful. It's, it can, yeah, I said hurtful. So let's just go, uh, and a good idea is... Um, 
I'm sorry, I need to close the camera. Um, and boop. and a good idea would probably be um, would probably be oh, this is all next. Would probably be like something original, something that can create a positive change, something that can help people to some degree without hurting them. Uh, something we find up which you know and something uh, that's beautiful in some ways so a good idea could be uh, me uh, <laughs> buying tacos for all of my friends and a bad idea could uh, could be me buying chili to all of my friends they would probably not eat it so it's not such a bad idea but I wasted a bunch of money and I'm probably gonna eat the chili so it's hurtful <laughs> to myself so, so you see it's a it's an idea without so much logic or like uh, without uh, really thinking about uh, the conclusion and the, the the implication of that conclusion. What does that mean? Uh, and a good idea. I don't think it has. To, it probably has to be thought out a little more. Um, and they can probably just go into each other like a, a bad idea can become a good idea and, uh, and, and so on. Good idea. Bad. Hmm, what about ideas? What ideas have I had? Uh, of course, I uh, want to be an artist, so I have had uh, some ideas, of mostly stories. I have never really wanted to make a project, a pro product that is that original. I have wanted to make some of my ideas into a project, like a pro product, uh, like a game. Uh, a movie, of course. I'm at a film school right now. Uh, and what other? Uh, <laughs> funny. Um, oh, ideas. Uh, okay, I should probably just tell you, like, some of my. Maybe I should tell you about the like the the, the f some of the first ideas I ever had. Uh, um. So uh, when I was smaller, uh, and that was a way off. Okay, one of my first like I, I started comic books, uh, comics before anything else. That was like the first uh, uh, artistical uh, medium I tried. Like uh, I would think so. I never got good at drawing, but but that's where I started. Uh, I was really inspired by the Valley Art Parents. Uh, because I had a fear of, uh, I don't think it was because of that, but it helped me a lot, uh, and I was really grabbed towards it because I have a fear of dying and a fear of becoming an adult because I thought that that would uh, like uh, that would do. if I became an adult that would mean I would die. Uh, so if I was just stopped in time, I would never die, and that was like my fascination with the fairly odd parents like you could just get these fairies and wish for eternal life easy as that i just wanted i just had to make my life miserable miserable enough and um, i thought my life were already miserable enough because i had to die <laughs> i didn't think like uh, wow that's uh, that was actually like my thought process. Like I, uh, and I think it's in some points valid. Like I had a really bad. I I really feared death. Uh, I would get seizures and cry often to an extent where people wouldn't like me anymore and make fun of me because they thought like I'm crying or something. Um. Uh. So I made a little uh, uh, comic book. Uh, with some collaboration for my friend in kindergarten, not really. They just played the games I like made uh, beside it. But the comic book kind of thing was called the uh, Barnabenton. Uh, uh, English word uh, Kit Gang. Kit Gang. No, yeah, Kit Gang, pretty much. Uh, which was just about me having. Uh, my own uh, fairy and uh, <laughs> I don't want to say killing adults but fighting adults uh, and I also had a giant robot because I watched uh, Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go and really liked the robot 
uh, so I had that too. Uh, and I don't remember much plot in it. I don't think there was. I think it was just me. Uh, because there wasn't any dialogue, of course. I think it was just uh, because I couldn't write. I still have a hard time doing that. Um, dyslexia, whoa. Uh, but it was pretty much just like panels of stuff happening and expressions like uh, circle, circle, thingy, thingy. Um, and yeah, that was uh, where the idea started. I made a bunch of other things later on. Uh, I don't remember most of them. I remember Disco Boy, King Google. What's that called? Uh, the the animal that hops and have a have a baby in its like pocket. Don't don't know no kangaroo 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 boy and uh, uh, just a yellow man with a top hat. Butter man. I just it's butter man now. I think he has now. And that was just like a super um, a superhero uh, series. Um, uh, but what it led into uh, was uh, Fantasy Boy, which was like my first uh, brick project, which uh, started and ended really fast. Uh, but it would return later in my life, where I actually uh, developed on it. Um, um, later I made uh, Knud, Sons and Benjamin, which was a collaboration between of one of my... I wouldn't call him friends, uh, uh, Tom and I, I don't know. I, I, I also would continue that with like my best friend at some point, but uh, one of my best friends, I better say. Uh, um, uh, I made a collaboration with it, but the first Moon Sons and Benjamin was uh, um, just uh, <laughs> this kind of family guy kind of thing, not really, just a young boy, uh, a lot of sex, a lot of really stupid jokes, uh, it was in my early like 15, I, I think I was 14, oh, wait, I, I don't think, maybe that is early, I'm not sure. It was a lot of sex, uh, and it was a fun collaboration, he had a really big nose, there was a doctor who made a blender, it was a really surreal comic, but it was definitely one of my bigger projects, and it had like, we made issues, which was really funny, I think it had two and a half, uh, that, that was a really fun project, but we, it was pretty much just like the, the most normal, it was supposed to be like this, uh, ultra normal world where the the main character is the straight man and everything around him is just surreal and he's just still so like straight to it doesn't <laughs> this is kind of surreal it, it, yeah that was a fun project uh, after that I went back to Fantasy Boy this time actually kind of serious about it and actually wanted to make something uh, worthwhile uh, out of it um, so I made a super hero plot, kind of edgy, uh, uh, like just a typical um, uh, guy. Uh, uh, it was really edgy. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> uh, uh, you don't actually see his transformation in the beginning. Oh, so, so guy me, uh, guy finds so. Uh, a main character, Fantasy Boy, his name is Darwin. Uh, uh, he wanna like, um, no, the start is Fantasy Boy, uh, Brad was his name, uh, going around just killing criminals, being an absolute like a, a powerhouse. So, so just walking beside them, being kind of like uh, fight, fighting against Ant pretty much, uh, because that's what a crook is to him, uh, taking gunshots. Bada beam, bada bam, moves on to, uh, and this was mostly written. I, had, I didn't make a comic book on this. I made a comic book on, on the first like in, uh, in iteration, iteration idea of fantasy, but but this was written, and uh, I don't think I would make. Maybe at some point I would have made it into a com uh, comic, but it was written in the beginning, like just a plot. Uh, it's 
him killing Crooks, uh, getting into a team with a girl named Rebecca, uh, um, uh, Darwin and uh, um, just him, Brad, and uh, them just like uh, uh, protecting the city, being kind of teenagers together. Darwin is this military guy that's really sweet, like kind of big brother figure for him, leader of the team. Uh, even though he has, uh, he gets the worst power, uh, just duplication. That sounds kind of cool, uh, but it, but it's the weakest towards like all the others. Uh, then we have Rebecca, who's like uh, a time controller, so she can reverse it, reverse it, uh, speed it up, speed herself up, teleport, a bunch of stuff. Um, to a certain extent, all of those, and she can always teleport. That's pretty much a trick. She always uh, and uh, uh, Brad Fantasy Boy is pretty much the powerhouse. He has this rainbow kind of layer and straight, always open white eyes, uh, like round, big, uh, glowing white eyes. Um, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, and uh, this rainbow layer is just like a layer, of pretty much like. Stardust or like the universe is pretty much just like a universe on him. So it's pretty much unbreakable and like ha Has extreme amount of power and energy so he can pretty much level uh, To some extent level uh, cities in a punch, but then a lot of it's gonna be destroyed So it's pretty much like thinking of oh, how much can I use this or things that because at some point I'm gonna run out, but I'm still this absolute powerhouse uh, and uh, it has some twists and turns here and there, other heroes, uh, the powers came from like uh, uh, stars, falling down, falling stars, like comets, I don't know, um, when people were in a situation close to dying, one of these could fall down and give them powers, uh, so it was like some kind of, you're the chosen one to it, um, but I don't know, the, the newest uh, iteration of it uh, is a bit more Christian inspired uh, in the way that it, com it comments a, a lot more about Christianity and uh, the main uh, bread is now this, um, like this is a version, that version was made like three years ago and now I'm continuing it uh, a bit more like uh, critical of like uh, Social social issues. I don't know. I'm I'm um, criticizing. Uh, I'm not really criticizing. I'm I'm interpreting interpreting uh, some points of Christianity through this story, um, and the powers uh, are no longer uh, like uh, stars falling down. Uh, they are like a mix of uh, a human and a Devil. So, like the power is control. Uh, okay, I have eight minutes to like just explain some of the law. Um, humanity has been uh, like flooded, like in the Noah's Ark. So there's like one city left, protected by angels. Angels uh, demands uh, human sacrifices, pretty much where a, a specific person will give their body and lose their consciousness, and the angel will inhabit it. And they will keep the city like protected, uh, um, and and the uh, human will get like extraordinary powers. Uh, in this story, uh, devils has uh, have tried the same, but they don't have like the same uh, conscious capability. So uh, they fuse with the person and uh, and can control like the power. So the power aspect is. Uh, devil control. So let's say Darwin's power is still duplication. Now all of his uh, clones he makes is controlled by the demon who possessed him. Uh, there's a person who controls um, ice on one side and heat on the other. Uh, wow, that's total <laughs> uh, um, in, in some aspect. Uh, it's a bit more like a sign. I don't know, let's just say it's through all pretty much, but like one side is devil, the one side is human, it's still controlled, uh, it's a bit more in relation to each other, but yeah, the ice and fire, uh, and our characters like that, but like now it's more 
like uh, about death kind of thing. I don't know why. I, I, I think it's a bit deeper if you get to read that project. That's the project I'm more serious about because I didn't want to... I, I want to write something like stupid comic book. I think it can has, have a value and be funny and say something about something. Uh, so I want to do, like, Fantasy Boy is not idea. I actually want to do something with. Um, so yeah, that's an idea I have. Now it kind of exists. So if I if I die without making it, you can like make some sort of interpretation of what I just say, even though there's a lot of things I left out uh, and a lot of things I I am not sure how to like explain it. It's it's really here. It's it's yeah. But yeah. yeah. Still have six minutes. I really just wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, I uh, hope to make a cool as fuck. Uh, maybe I should really make it a comic. If any artist ever comes out to me and say, yes, I like to make Rainbow Boy punch building, I'll be really happy. Because hmm. it's a C boy. And then the name is called that is because uh, um, there are actually two guys called that. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, it makes, because there is actually a guy, his power is like making uh, his ideas into like uh, actually persons. Uh, but that was the guy who inspired uh, the main character. Um, so like the, there's this that kind of story thing, at least in my original version, where I, uh, Brad, the main character, is really short, uh, and there's this younger person than him, but much taller, who is also getting bullied by a, a little uh, uh, higher person than him, but still taller than Brad. And Brad stands up for that tall guy, the kind of nerdy tall guy, and uh, helps him get his like comic book thing he drew back, and it says like fantasy boy and this kind of hero, and he's like, oh yeah, oh. Heroes, uh, and that's like uh, Brad's like first introduction to a hero and the hero idea in that way. Like you see, oh, the action I just did was kind of he heroic, and oh, that's a hero. Never really thought about that, and I just kind of just kind of sits like in some way put uh, sits in his subconsciousness, and he just put this name on himself when he gets it like the superhero thing because superheroes doesn't really like matter that much to him but like in some ways like like it kind of does but it's just like oh, okay i know one superhero name i guess a fantasy boy that's me i guess it's it's a it's a bit chill i think it holds some meaning uh, and he's also like one of the only characters that actually uses uh a superhero name but i i think it's to differentiate himself with power and with not power. But it was my original idea, I hope so. Uh, nowadays it's a bit different. I'm not even sure I will call him that anymore. Maybe he will just be Brad. Maybe I will make, maybe Brad, like in the new version, will be a supporting character and the main character will actually be that nerdy. I think that's a little cliche. I like Brad. He's a short, uh, a fat, thin guy, fat, thin, thin, fat. Like, uh, it's really thin, skinny fat, skinny <laughs> guy, uh, has a belly, uh, 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 really thin everywhere else, um, uh, have like kind of long hair, uh, but it's like uh, really, uh, and it's kind of like this uh, uh, pessimist, no, what's it called, like a really, uh, not angry. <laughs> he can be a bit uh, not caring about other people. Like really think of the numbers. So so if he can uh, if he can get uh, a really big blow in on the villain uh, or save two people, he's gonna get the big blow in because there's a then it there's a higher chance to like kill the person and save more people. It's very logical in in some ways. Like to. Uh, to a cold extent where uh, it's more about the numbers than the people it's more like the uh, 
theory of people, like number. That was really sad. Uh, I had like a, some sort of conclusion to this, but I guess uh, these videos will just be 40 minutes then. That's what qualifies as a movie, I'm pretty sure. Um, but like uh, just the end was uh, just talking about him being uh, taking... It's not gonna be as well, I'm sorry, it just, uh, and you can have this interpretation about it, but him taking the, um, the like, bigger choice and something like it, the, the choice above being a human, like the choice to not save your own consci not consciousness, uh, morality, uh, the ability to feel good about yourself, not taking the choice that makes you feel good about yourself, but taking the choice he thinks it's better for the most amount of hu humans, even though a lot of people can specifically blame him for people dying. Um, and I also think talked about a little about a role model and the idea of a hero with all the good aspects and yeah, something like that. My kid, but yeah, uh, I hope that was enough for you uh, in some ways. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get the conclusion. I, it, it, yeah, fails happens, but I guess now I know the length of these kind of things and you're lucky enough to get like a, a minute and something more uh, But it will be 40 minutes from now on on out um, And yes, uh, I enjoyed Talking I think uh, And I hope it has some values like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be so uh, like oh it does not hold any value and therefore it has no meaning and I just wasted my time but yeah uh, I'm gonna upload it no matter what and I think sh no matter who you are you should also like do the things you want to do even though they doesn't like you can't uh, uh, say exactly why they are productive or why they hold meaning you can just say ah oh, this was nice at the moment i don't know like uh, live your life that's that's what i wish for all of us to do so bye yeah hey 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 hey